Think Green is presented by Pacific Solar and Photovoltaics, keeping Guam green one roof at a time. Call 632-4002 for more information. Educators are learning how to connect disaster preparedness with the environment and community resilience at the 2017 Youth Preparedness Summit, taking place at the Guam Community College this week. School program consultant Eloise Sanchez said the summit is geared toward GDOE teachers who are learning to apply these concepts both in and out of the classroom. What they'll be able to be involved in tomorrow is actually going on the field trip to take a look at the different parts of the island, what it is that we need to be uh, uh, watchful of if we want to protect the you know, part of the, uh, um, the um, farmlands and, and those kinds of things from fire and, and what they need to do. So having them go out there actually allows them to see um, the real life experiences that you know, they need to bring back to the classroom uh, to integrate into their, into their curriculum. Part of the training focuses on how environmental hazards don't only impact communities but also the island's ecosystem. For example, excessive grass fires can lead to increased erosion and river runoff, and in turn, greater pollution in the oceans. Jen Tamora, a preparedness analyst from FEMA Region 9, was today's keynote speaker. Disasters that Guam has experienced are, of course, typhoons, earthquakes, tsunamis, uh, but the most frequent one is usually flooding. So rains like today would cause uh, flash flooding, um, uh, lots of impact to lower communities and, and things like that. In addition to disaster preparedness and environmental considerations, educators are also learning about service learning opportunities and how to connect students with opportunities in the community. The summit ends this Friday. With this week's Think Green, I'm Isa Baza. Think Green is presented by Pacific Solar and Photovoltaics, keeping Guam green one roof at a time. Call 632-4002 for more information.